Hello, in this video I wanted to talk about a pretty cool little application that I use called Rotato and pretty much what it allows me to do is it allows me to input certain mockups right within an iPhone or within a laptop or within an iPad or actually within any kind of device and I can actually twist it around and put it in any environment I want from any angle. I think you're going to like this and it's a pretty cool little tool. Stay tuned. So I'm pretty much here on the Rotato website. You can pretty much go here and this will be actually where you would download the app itself. You would just here hit here, try it today. And that's how you would download it. But let's just go down here so I could show you some of the mocks. So see it animates in 4K and it kind of creates these kind of mockups. You literally can, can create these from scratch from any angle and it's showing you kind of examples here. This is a kind of what it looks like on an iPhone. This is something that one might look like something more like an iPad um, and, and kind of you can see like all the different companies that uses Google, Airbnb, Uber. And you could see what it looks like in um, on a laptop potentially as well. You could see what it looks like here potentially on an Apple Watch. When you open up the app, you'll kind of have this iPhone mock and see how you can rotate the screen in any direction. And you could see this is kind of more of the older, the old, uh, older iPhone. But the cool thing is I literally can put this in any angle. So I, right here on the right side where it, ha where it has change devices, I can come here to change device and I have these different devices to choose from. Some of them you might not be able to see exactly. Let me move the screen a little bit so you could see here. So you could see all these different devices that you can pretty much use as an example. So let's try a couple so I could show you. So let's say you want to use like a laptop for example this macbook 16 inch you can choose this device and you can put this thing in literally in any angle it's really really cool let's try another device let's actually try three iphones at once you could put these so you can kind of animate i'm just moving my mouse around and that's kind of how i'm animating this thing you could see here that if i rotate it over you literally have the back of the items as well and and notice how you have these subtle reflections so that you can get to by going to lens and in here you could kind of control the type of reflections you have i'm not going to get too much into that but that's something you could experiment with potentially going back to the to the different looks of different devices i'm going to choose an iphone 11 pro as an example so i'll actually import a screen and show you what that would look like when you're actually importing in a screen opening up figma over here you see that i have the screen this is actually a little app that i'm working on now and i'll get more into that in some future videos but for now let's just talk about this right screen so i can take this right screen and export it out and this is I'm using Figma so I'm just hitting export and exporting the screen out and I already have it exported after I have the screen exported out I can just come over here and take that screen and just drag it right into here and you can see it just put in that screen from directly from Figma and you don't have to use Figma I, mean, I just happen to be using Figma you can use a sketch or Photoshop or any screenshot as long as the proportions are correct you just drag it in and now you can see I'm moving this thing around and I could export this file from any of these angles which is really really powerful something else that i like to do notice how it's like a silver kind of a silver iphone i like to come over here on the backgrounds and i like to you know you could experiment with different backgrounds i usually like to have that transparent so when you export that out you can put it on any background you want and i also like turning the shadows off not really having any shadows and i like using this clay device so it kind of makes this kind of like this plastic looking uh device and i, I just really like that kind of look and feel and then after I have that ready, what I could do if I want to export this file out, I could just come over here and hit snapshot and it takes that snapshot and I could hit here and just hit export PNG and then it pretty much exports that file out. Something else that's really spectacular with this little application is that you can actually create animations and export them out as video. So let me show you what that would look like. So I'm coming here in the animations and I can you can just see see there's a few built in animations that they have, but you could also create your custom ones. But let's look at some of these built in ones. So I can hit this plus and then come down here and hit play. And you could see here that it makes these custom animations. Let's take a look at a couple other ones. So you can come here and hit this one and see what that would look like. See this animation here's another here's another one i like using sometimes as well you just see it kind of just rotates in and out just really really interesting screens to show uh possibly some of your clients or viewers or if you're just like trying to sell a certain point on a certain part of your app it's really powerful for things like that 
and the, the way you control the animations, you could come down here and hit pause or hit play or pause. Then you could come here and just delete them. But I can make custom animations. So I'm hitting space and I'm just moving this around and I'm saying I want to have a keyframe. I want to start from right here. I just hit this little plus. So that made a little keyframe and then I can move it and rotate it and just move it at this angle. Let's move it around that like this a little bit. And I just hit another plus. And then you can see kind of how that works. I just loops in kind of like that. That's a little fast. So let's see if we can control that. Basically, you come over here and just move this around and it adds. So it goes from a few seconds to a, like seven seconds. And now we can hit that and you can see it's a little smoother. If you're ever doing stuff and you lose where your screen are, you can always come over here and just click that and it just brings it back to the default state. So that's something good to know. And you have these, you have a couple of these default states that you can just click on it and it brings you to these states. And in a real life situations, the way I really like using this kind of stuff is like, say I have a page like this and it's pretty much like a like a hero section of a page and I want to put uh, some content in there. So I would come here and export this out by going to snapshot and just I can literally can just take this and just drag it right into my Figma <laughs> or any software that you like using. And you could pretty much make it the size that you want and the angle you have it at the, at the right angle. You would obviously experiment with different angles and kind of you're able to place that where you want. Also, I might come to our original design. I might take something like this and might export this piece out as well. Then I would come back to Rotato and choose change device and choose like a MacBook Pro, the 16 inch one, <laughs> which is pretty cool looking. I would take that and I would take the screenshot we just made and I could just drag it right in there. And now we have an example of what this, what our app product would look like in real time on a potential laptop at any angle we want. So then say we like this angle, I could do snapshot the same way we did the phone. Actually, let's get rid of the shadow. I'm gonna hit shadow, so now we have no shadows. I'm gonna hit snapshot. And then I'm, and I could just take this file and just drag it right into our Figma over here. And then I can just size it correctly the way I want. Obviously I would experiment a little more with these angles because I want to make sure that the proportions are good. So I would just drag it around, kind of move things around to get that right to the way I like it. And the proportions are not perfect, <laughs> but you get the idea. It's something you could experiment with. And the, the main power of this is just that you literally can take any of these devices and have them at any, any angle you want and just have them kind of just looking the direction that you want. And also you can have those little animations and kind of moving things around and doing all that stuff could be look really, really cool for, for intro videos or demonstrations. I also wanted to mention that you can actually hook up your phone to, to here and you hit this little record. And while your phone is connected, you can actually prototype and it will record exactly what's on your phone. And then you can move the video around in proportion. This is just an example of a video that I just did right now, a screenshot on my phone. And you could see that I could literally record screenshots and I'm able to just drag those in and it'll kind of shows them as examples right directly on my phone. And I can export this video out and then put it anywhere I want. So this is a quick example of just a video screenshot I just took and recorded right directly on my phone and added these custom animations to just show you what this thing is uh, really, really capable of. And if I want to render this video out, I could just come here, render movie. Lastly, I did want to mention that although I love this app very much, it is a little bit buggy sometimes, but I'm okay with those bugs because there's not really anything else like this, this powerful to be able to accomplish this kind of stuff. And if you are tired of kind of seeing the same angles of different devices, uh, then this is definitely a good thing for you to try out. It, it's not a free app. I think it costs like around $50 or something like that, but you definitely can try it for free. I think they include a watermark when it's not a paid app. I'm not 100% sure, but give it a shot and try it out. As you can see, Rotato is such an easy tool to use and I hope this video was very beneficial for you and check it out and really give it a try. If there's anything that you think I might've missed or if you have questions about anything, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave me a like. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting more content that most likely you'll like. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.